Arthur, you were here in the woods of Ithaca. You call this home. Tell me about it. Oh, it's home because it has to be. It sometimes it could be even worse than caught between a rock and a hard plate. Because when you had so much stolen from you in life, you can only start over so many times, but when the last time cost you probably $175,000 between equipment and people robbing bank accounts, but one rich son of a bitch out towards France and gets in his mind, supposed to be a Christian, but someone trying to make a buck on the side to get the Social Security to bust your ass over a couple bucks and it escalates into bad things and you run into people who, who are then unscrupulous and undecent and unethical and start stealing everything you got. Oh my gosh. So due to some bad situations, some bad people, you ended so, up here. Yep. Now you told me you're a veteran. You did two Correct. tours of two tours of Vietnam. Well, I did one tour of Nam, but I'm, I'm saying I did two enlistments. Got it. So Eight years Nam, total, you're yep. telling me. I was in Nam in seventy seventy one. You shouldn't be out here. Well, I don't. Being the hardships I got to deal with every day, no man, no woman, child, or even rat should have to live this way, because everything I've got to do. I've got to chase. You can't sit down like anybody else and go to your kitchen and pour yourself a cup of coffee. You got to chase it. Did I put the sugar here? Did I hide it away from the rats over there? So even a cup of coffee takes you 45 minutes. Because then you got to get the camping stove out and hook it up. Hope you got some gas. Hope the wind don't blow the damn thing out. Heat some water to finally get a cup of coffee. Got all kinds of hardships like that. If you don't get to your laundry and put it in a bucket when you're still trying to be conscious enough to do your laundry, so any of the other bums that just take the shit and just throw it out. Oh, let me clarify now. There's two different kind of people that have to live in these kind of woods, that have to live in these woods. There's those people who live in those camps you're going to see that are just rat traps. Well, when he shoots my camp around, I mean, yeah, it looks disorderly, but you'll see there's functions of where he's starting to actually make a plot, me, Arthur. And other people don't want to live that way, wouldn't live that way, because they spend their money on drugs and booze. And they'll never have anything for that simple reason. I have a plan. I'm going through all kinds of hardships, and I'm about ready to give up, or about ready to wish I had a 44 Magnum, but uh, life don't accord me even that kind of damn break. So it's, yeah, I'm stuck out in these woods. And I'm even trying to make a kitchen. It's, uh, it's hard. I just helped you with the cart. Oh, you ain't kidding. Oh, my gosh. And you're going and up the one road, and it yep. sinks in the front. Yep. I had to pull the front. And that's and, only one little thing. Everything everything that I do out here is the same hardships. And and I couldn't imagine, because I only did it one time, and right. you do it several Every times day, a day. Right. To get water, which you have to have, not just for drinking. If you got any sense, you still try to keep your clothes clean. And uh, you still need water for cooking. So at least every day I got to go down and get 15 gallons, 20 gallons of water a day. Oh, uh, Mike's been, Michael here has been helping me heck of a lot. I wish we could get that big pail, but a, a bath bucket. And if I had a bicycle, even I'd probably go to Tremont Park and get a bath. Or, you know, a nice cool swim in God's Creek. But I can't even do that now. Yeah. Life don't even accord me that. I'm stuck up here in the heat until the heat goes. And then you freeze when winter comes in. Well, I'm hoping you're going to get out of here before winter. Well, sir, if the Lord be it, be it as it may, if the Lord sees it. If not, I die here. If I have to die here like the men, brave men that died for their country or even the brave men died on the CSS Hunley. Oh they died for a cause. They're brave enough to do it. So if I have to die here, I die here. Well, it's an honor to meet you. Well, it's an honor to meet you because you're doing things to help people. But please try and screen people. If they're druggies and don't show no interest in education, I mean, that's how you can really clarify. Yeah. Because like Michael here, he sees the potential. Because he says, yeah, teach me German. See, that's the difference. Yeah. A lot of these other people, I even try to give some work before it cost me a company. Maybe sometimes you can't pay really a super amount of money, but say to the person, yeah, but you know what? There's benefits. I can teach you Italian or Spanish, or German, you know, have some initiative. That to me is worth a heck of a lot more. Anybody with common brains with it. So if you're trying to help people, you get the major, major thing here. You want to really screen them. 
if they're druggies and alcoholics, only give them a minute to uh, correct and see if it's worth even helping. Yeah. Well, I believe everybody's worth helping. I was one of them druggy alcoholics. Well, I can understand that, but you wouldn't do it now, would you? Oh, I sure would. You but sure would? I believe everybody deserves grace. But that's a different conversation. That's, let's not go off on that. If you had three wishes, what would they be? My mother and father and time. Your mother and father and time. And time. Wow. I've never heard that one before. Not well, money, Arthur, time. it was really an honor to meet you. And my German Shepherd. And Send that German over to shepherd. Wave. I need a female German Shepherd. Oh. Young one. For a very cheap price. Yeah. Well, you have a marvelous day. Well, same to you, sir. And God bless.